I bought a premium CB today. Couldn't get this in the truck stop, at least what they said. Unboxing right now. Did I waste my money? Brown channel. I bought a premium CB today. I, um, at least I was told it was premium. I'm not too versed in the um, CBs from my understanding of what the guy told me. I'm going to tell you what he told me. He told me that the um, CBs that are in the truck stop only put, kick out about 10, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all correct me in the comments if I'm not using the correct measurement, but uh, 10 watts. This one is kicking out 40 to 50. Wow, that's four times, five times what they're doing inside of the truck stop. Now, I went to a CB shop to purchase one of these, the Galaxy DX939. Uh, let's, let's, let's read a couple things in here. Has stabilized uh, voice plate, backlit, large, easy to read meter, adjustable talk, back circuit, high SWR alert LED, automatic SWR circuit, blue frequent counter, frequency counter, variable output power, Roger D, Roger B, new three year warranty, 40 channel AM mobile CB radio. Let's read the back of this thing here. That's what, that's what, that's what it's looking like. Let's, let's pull it out. Let's pull it out of the thing. Now with this particular radio, you cannot have one of the, you, it has to be dashboard mounted on the dash because the little thingy comes out of the side for the microphone. So if you have a truck where it has to go into a slot, this is not the uh, CB for you. I guess it would actually, this time it would be better to have a long nose P. Galaxy D39 gives you a little situation here. Put that there. Looks like I have a bracket. This is the time where I would like to have Woody or Loshan with me, and I would just get them to put it in because they're, you know, that's their thing. Uh, uh, has the bracket here. This would be the way that I would actually uh, brace it down. See? Oh, yeah. In there. Got my little bracket situation here. Put that there. Um, let's see what's in this box. That's the microphone that comes with it. They gave me a better microphone than that. How much did I pay? Uh, paid a little bit of money. Here goes the power cord. Boom, boom, boom. And booyah. There she is. See that? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm officially a super trucker. There you go right there. There is the little hookup for you to put the mic in there. I don't know the appropriate name for it, coaxial or whatever they're gonna call it, XLR or whatever, but it's coming out of the side. So if you're one of the people who have it where it goes into the slot up here, this radio's not gonna be able to do you any good. You have to make sure you get one that has it coming out of the front. And that's something you need to add before you uh, pick it up. I wonder if I can just plug it in right now and get a little juice out of it. I am revamping my whole trucking life. I want able. I'm getting everything I've never done. Booyah! And it's on. Let's check this glow out. Yeah! Got it tuned so it's at peak tuning condition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're good to go there. Ain't hooked up to anything. Let's play with it for, for snacks and sniggles here. Turn my volume up. Got my dimmer here. I wish it glowed red. It's already calibrated in tune. Let's get her to 19. Uh, she's on 19 right now. Make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Switch it to 19. Boom, it's at 19. I know nothing about CBs, man. I, I really wouldn't just spend two hundred and twenty dollars or thirty dollars on this um, supposed premium. Um, I really wanted a big rig series. I think it was a night a forty-eight something, but that thing it was it was so strong. It, it, it was a hundred watts output, which is just ridiculous. They have some up to four hundred watts output. 
but um it had to be it had to be hardwired to the batteries in the truck i was like that's way over what i'm trying to do i don't, I don't really need to do that um but it, it was it was something it was that or i was going to get a striker yeah yeah so those big dudes you hear on there with the crazy reverb and like oh my god and it's just it's like eh, 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 in the background uh, i guess you call it echo um it it those are uh uh they're stepping on people because they're so powerful and you gotta go you go to a cb shop because they really don't they really don't sell these um in the um in the uh truck stops usually unless you go to a real nice like a joplin or something like that or or uh or uh or uh I, Iowa 80 big truck stop or the Joplin Petro may have it uh, there's a couple other big places may have it too but listen I'm new to CBs okay so if there's some tips or something in the comments that I should know or or something like that about this CB or or, or, or anything on handling it or, 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 or what I should do what what extra I should get with it um, Maybe you want to go in there and comment on a couple of those controls you see on there and get something like that. Let me know. I would love to uh, relook at those later. Let's, let's, uh, let's get things out. Things I have to do, I have to go in there and, 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 and get this braced in here. I guess people usually use two-sided tape. Um, this is for you to actually uh, probably hang it up here and it will go on there like this and then you could hang it, you know, hang it uh, up but I'm not gonna be able to do that sitting on this thing. It usually they come with some type of a strap if I'm not mistaken, but I'm gonna go on the truck stop and see if I can find something to uh, help me brace this thing on. And other thing too, I need two antennas to go with it because uh, the truck, the place tore my antennas off, the uh, truck wash place. So I need two antennas to go with it as well. But it, the aesthetically, I love it, dude. It has a nice grungy old school look, which is cool. Hop right on, BL. Beautiful situation here. I got the dimmer. I'll, I won't have it that high. I don't want to burn my light out here, so I'll probably put it about one, two, about right there. And um, cut it out, man. Yeah, that's my new Galaxy, man. Galaxy 939. It's supposed to be putting out five times what the truck stop one is putting out. Now, you guys, tell me if I was had. Should I not have paid two hundred and thirty dollars for this? Should I have just went and got the cheap ones, uh, the one Cobra one on the inside? Or uh, someone who's into CBs, tell me what the, the underculture is and, 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 and you know why people are into them so much and, and they pay big money for them. Because they're going to be too...